Hey, I'd been planning on doing an update on the uh, plants. I think today is May 12th, and I was planning on doing it today, which was my my first or second day off. Day before yesterday, we got a uh, hailstorm for about 10 minutes that just I can't say it demolished everything, but uh, pretty close. So here is the uh, ice cream banana that was doing. I mean, just great, and I mean, it absolutely just shredded it I mean it's not a problem it'll come back but it's everything on the bottom looks horrible and you can see where this new leaf that's coming out I'm surprised it didn't break it off but I mean it just pounded it it'll be an ugly leaf when it does open Troy there's your pup actually it probably come out uh, probably better than anything else the uh, ornamental bananas yeah beat the uh, beat the crap out of those two crap out of the lime tree and, you know, I showed last time that I had all the blooms on the lime tree. Well, none of them made. You know, and I think that's... I just I took it out of the house, moved it straight outside. Didn't really do any adjustment time for it. And I think that's... I think I kind of screwed it up by doing that, not really letting it adjust. So, that uh, is my lady finger that Troy gave to me. And I really wish I would have got out here before this hailstorm to show him what it looked like. But uh, it's already got its own pup coming up. So, got a pup on the lady finger. Hibiscus was doing good. Um, it's finally starting to grow up. It's getting better, but uh, this bloom come out after the uh, <laughs> after the hailstorm, so it's not quite as bad. This was a banana that I bought. Uh, I seen it at the gardening store, and I had never. It said Rojo, which uh, it looks almost identical to a dwarf Cavendish. So I bought it thinking it was a bearing plant and got home, did a little research on it, come to find out it's not. It's an ornamental as well. I probably wouldn't have bought it had I known that. But it is a real pretty plant, except now. It broke almost every leaf off. Shredded what wasn't broke. This is, the, I think, the only one that it didn't break off right here. So it'll grow back. Um, one thing I didn't show last time was the, uh, the peach tree. This peach tree I planted three years ago, and you can see... Among all my marigolds that I, I sprouted from seed, it just battered it. But uh, this thing is just absolutely loaded with peaches. I can't believe it didn't knock it more than it did off. I mean, there's just there's peaches everywhere in this thing. In fact, I, I'm probably going to have to have to pull some off because there's just too many. I'm going to end up with broken branches. The eggplant. <clears throat> I've actually got three big eggplants on here. I hope this isn't too hard to see, but it looks like it is. Just to give you an idea on my hand here. And I do have a large hand. That one's, it doesn't have a lot more to go. It's got a good bit. I uh, beat a bunch of the blooms off this one, but really didn't tear up many of the leaves. Uh, this one here is the uh, Cherokee purple. So it's just started uh, just started blooming here in the last week and actually it didn't beat the blooms off so hopefully we'll end up with something there that is my bell regular bell pepper that finally just started blooming jalapeno this jalap these two jalapeno plants I've got I almost think that they got cross pollinated because these peppers that are on here have got all this black and it's almost more of a round pepper than any jalapeno I've ever seen before. So, same thing with this one right back here. It's got the same color, same type. Uh, this is my Cajun bell pepper. I've only got one that's really of any size yet. It's not near big enough, but uh, it's really starting to bloom now. I got a couple other real, real small ones that are that are starting to come out. So, this is the uh, patio container. That's just I've gotten a total of seven tomatoes off of it. Let me rephrase that. It's made seven tomatoes. The dog got, the yellow lab got five. I got two. So that's why this wire is now up around here. I've only got one hanging on, but I do have some other smaller ones growing. Good tomatoes. Um, not great. They're just they're good tomatoes. However, these black cherry tomatoes, man, they're awesome. They've got a great taste to them. A little bit of a sour taste, but uh, they're just, they're great. Sweet banana peppers, I've already pulled a ton off of here. Looks like I've got at least two more that I need to get off now. They're not hot at all, but they really do. Man, if you, to if you uh, roast them, they're great. 
Now, since the last update, I finally decided to put a small garden out behind my house. And I had planned on doing it on the side and was told by the lovely homeowners association that I couldn't. I was actually gonna put it right out here. So since they said they couldn't, I decided I'd just put it where they can't see it. I built it behind the house, or behind my back fence here. And there's the house. So, neighbor doesn't care, he's cool with it. But uh, brought in a bunch of uh, composted cow manure and what they call super grass dirt, and it's been great. But, same deal with the storm. Um, I didn't have a lot planted out here because I started so late. That's the one cherry tomato that basically it didn't touch it much at all, probably because it's so close to the fence. Those are uh, Texas super sweet onions. Just got those planted not long ago. Actually, just a few days ago. Here was the larger of the uh, two red cherry or three red cherry tomatoes. It's I don't know if that'll come back or not. Probably not. It may a little, but it's not going to do much of anything. This was my other Cherokee purple that was doing great, man. Um, it just beat the tar out of it. There's some top pieces left that, uh, I don't know, we may be okay, it may it may come back. This right here, and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show this. This here was the, I guess it was actually the biggest of the cherry tomatoes. Just totally broke the whole top off. It's uh, blew it away. I don't know where it went. But uh, more onions. That was the smallest of the cherry tomatoes. It's uh, totally gone, if you can even see it. My corn, uh, shredded the corn. It was doing really excellent. I, the back row I planted first, and then I reseeded some stuff about two weeks later. That's the stuff that's, uh, that's kind of in that front row. It shredded it real bad, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. It, uh, it ought to put out and come right back, so we'll see. Squash, uh, it beat it up real good, knocked several big pieces off of it, but I think there's enough there and there's already some new leaves coming out that it's probably gonna be okay. Cucumber has actually got uh, some leaves. I actually got a new one coming out, so I'd, once again with this one. They may all come back, but I, I seriously doubt that they're gonna produce much because there was so much broken off of all of them, so we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully here in a month, uh, I'll do another update and we'll see how these actually come out. Thank you.